So you want to make a global leaderboard GUI, but you can't find any tutorials. All you ever find are leaderboards that you can place on the ground. That's why I'm here to solve this issue. I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a global leaderboard GUI. Alright, let's get started. So let's add a screen GUI inside of starter GUI. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Next, let's add a frame and a UI aspect ratio constraint. And let's set the aspect ratio to 1.841. You can just resize the frame however you want. Make sure you install this plugin called Auto Scale Lite. I will leave a link in the description. And click scale on the size. Now it should perfectly scale on all devices. Then let's add a frame. Remember to click scale and adjust it to your liking. Next we will add a scrolling frame, adjust it, and let's add a text label inside of the leaderboard frame. You can name it whatever you want, but I choose leaderboard. And then remember to click scale. Then add a UI list layout inside of the scrolling frame and name it UI. For the start order, change it to name. Now let's add a local script and name it update. Next we need to make a sample that's going to be displayed inside of the GUI. So let's add a frame called sample. Make sure you copy these exact names, otherwise the script won't work. Then adjust the frame just like this. Next let's add an image label and set its background transparency to 1 and name it image. Let's add a text label inside of the image called num and place it in the bottom corner of the image. Then we need to add another text label called name. Scale the text, name it player name. Now add one more text label called wins and set the text scale property to true. And I forgot to set the background transparency to 1, so do that for all of the elements. I also customized the text a little bit and I used the free doco one font. Now we can place the sample inside of the local script that we created earlier. Inside of the local script you need to write this script. Feel free to pause the video and copy it. Next let's insert a script in server script service. And write this data store script. Feel free to pause the video. For the last script, let's name it leaderboard and copy this whole script. Again, feel free to pause the video. Before we test out the leaderboard, we need to make sure this one setting is enabled. So go to File, Game Settings, Security, and Enable Studio Access to API Services. So we are finally ready to test out the leaderboard. As you can see, it's working perfectly fine. It is global and everyone's leader stats will be displayed on the leaderboard. Let's try changing our wins value to see if it updates. After 30 seconds, it updated. Hope you find this useful for your game. Peace!